Hi folks, this is Anna with the Nose Nose, and today I already unboxed it because I, um, uh, okay, I just couldn't wait. <laughs> uh, today we're going to do an unboxing and a first nose, that's what I call a first impression, of um, a new fragrance launched by Barrister and Mann in 2018, centered around very, very expensive, or what I'm told is very, very very expensive jasmine. As far as I know, most uh, jasmine-centric uh, fragrances are built with hedione nowadays, which is not necessarily a bad thing because hedione, you know, causes arousal and there's nothing wrong with that, right? Um, and it's also, you know, I, I happen to like uh, the smell of pure uh, hedione. I think it's crisp and light and, and clean somehow. My brain knows what to do with it. But this one, and, and and we use Zinio because it's very expensive to do enfleurage and absolutes and stuff of jasmine, as you guys all know by now. Um, but this perfume fragrance is uh, supposedly very rich in jasmine. Not one, but two types. And if I remember correctly, it's some sort of um, Egyptian jasmine and also a uh, Mukhalat uh, jasmine in a crazy high concentration. I think it's supposed to be over 4%, which is very, very, very high. Not only because it's an expensive ingredient, um, but also because within uh, the composition of a perfume, um, something as strong and particular as jasmine, um, having that much prevalence usually creates something that knocks your socks off and something that you can't really read other notes um that might be present alongside it so i'm very 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 curious i intentionally didn't do any research on it i actually uh had known about uh bear stern and mun because i love their name even though it sounds like <laughs> like an attorney office uh but i um i love their name i love the fact that they don't have a crap load of launches every day pardon my french and my english and all the other languages you're going to hear me speak um i like their attitude i like the the attitude of the owner william carius is how i got this thing i was one of the uh, few to um get it um this is launched in again is being launched in 2018. I, I guess we're part of the launch. Uh, and it came in this thing I with a little heart accent here, which I like. Yeah, I like it. Um, the fragrance I'm reviewing is called Middlesex, um, Romance in Middlesex County. I don't know why. I don't know if Middlesex is full of uh, jasmine, but why not? Alright, um, it came with one of these order slips and it came with a little uh, note saying, Hooray, thank you for your order. It wasn't an order, it was a gift, but um, share a photo or video on Instagram. I'm not very active on Instagram, so this is my contribution. Uh, and I'm going to do a first nose, which means I haven't tried it. It's going to be, you know, raw, straight to you. There's also this. Bum, ba, bum, five years and still awesome, which is awesome. <laughs> I don't know where I'm gonna put this. Uh, one of my notebooks, probably. I also got a bunch of little of these bonbons, and in one of these tubes, one of these things with one of these things. The first thing I can, I don't think it's been sprayed, I can, can't feel much. Um, the first thing that um, captured my attention is the color of this. You might not be able to s tell, but here you go. It's very dark. It's not what you ex would expect from necessarily a white flower, right? Center centric fragrance. I don't know if it's male or female. I don't really have stuff on my arms I'm gonna I'm gonna do it here just to just to be safe okay first whiff was 
something spicy. Something very spicy. Or I, um, I, I have a lot of Persian friends, and they're, there's a distinct combination of saffron and cardamom. I'm drooling. That's a good thing. Very spicy. Something uh, like uh, pipe tobacco. Yeah, pipe tobacco. Not tobacco on the plant. Not tobacco flower, which I absolutely adore. Not dried tobacco. Not cigarette tobacco. It's pipe tobacco. So it's a little moist, but deeper and tannic somehow. That's the first nose. A lot of jasmine, the alive kind. I have a lot of, uh, quite a few types of jasmine in my backyard. I live in California, so uh, they flower throughout the year, kind of. Um, so I know them in pretty much all of their stages. This is, this is the smell of the plant itself, with the woody, you know, um, branches, with the green leaves. This is the green jasmine very realistic i'm drooling something is happening i smell something fruity but it's not you know it's not um crisp it's something softer like a peach like an overripe peach when the skin is a little bit soft and you want to bite into it so it has a little bit of uh resistance to bite into. I smell green coffee of the same kind I smelled in Emerald by Hervé Domar. So not the coffee, the, the ro roasted coffee beans that you make coffee out of, but uh, the green um, berries before they turn. This is what they smell like. There's something else green either grassy or some 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 sort of green lily maybe lily of the valley a little bit yeah a little bit of lily of the valley my nose are first of all my nose is full it doesn't seem to have a huge projection when i move my arm um I can feel it when it gets rather close. I don't know how it will, it will do with sillage. It's some sort of an enveloping aura around you. It it feels like one of those. Hmm. It feels like one of those uh, uh, scents that will continue building up if you keep applying it. Instead of going further, it's getting more intense. Does that make if that makes sense? I think there's a little bit of something animalic, but it's very, uh, ooh. I just got something honey-esque. Um, maybe the animalic with something sweet on top creates a, a honey accord. Honey-ish. It's like apricot jam. Like marmalade of some sort. Yeah, something between apricot jam and marmalade. That's what I'm smelling. And there's there's some wood in there. I don't know why I'm smelling this one. I think to, to, to calibrate. <laughs> it's my skin. Reminds me of the first stages of samsara, so there has to be some wood in there. Maybe sandalwood or something. getting greener and greener it's interesting as as progression goes it's getting more and more jasmine nate but it's not it's not just a flower again it's a very green jasmine it's a very alive jasmine it's a very realistic plant smell very interesting and there's something something um almost fougere no there's no fougere Something sheepery. There's no lavender. Hmm. Mossy. So there's something mossy in it. And mulchy and green. It's very, it's a very green smell. It's a very green smell with 
tobacco and some spices of the uh, pod kind. It's not, it's not the hot spices, not the cloves, it's not the cinnamon, it's more like cardamom and saffron, like I said. Very interesting. I am not big into um, white flowers because on me they usually shriek and the indoles do not behave on my skin at all, at all, at all, at all. You do not want to know. Um, I'm basically a huge armpit walking around uh, with like sour, stale sweat. Um, yeah, not a very delicate description, but that's that's what I normally get um, when I put white flowers on my skin. This is interesting. This is green. This is uplifting. I'm getting goosebumps on one of my legs. Something is happening. So I've been drooling. I got goosebumps. Now it's both my legs. Wow. All right. So Mr. <laughs> Mr. William, if you're watching this. This girl is going through some weird physical transformations right now. Um, I would rather have something like this than something that I don't get any reaction from. I'm curious to see um, uh, details um, on performance because this is just the first spray, the first nose. It's been, you know, whatever, five, five minutes. I don't know if this is representative for anything. but. My diagnosis is, ooh, I got some tobacco, some more tobacco. This is a very interesting tobacco. Wet and packed. Ooh, -hoo, I love it. This is definitely unisex. This is definitely not easy to wear. This is definitely not understated, but it's very elegant, even though it's a pillow in your face, with notes that are very bold, but are very well blended so far. Something uh, spicy, something a little bit um, uh, sheeper-y. Um, very new take on Jasmine. I would love to see this on a dry skin, for example. I would love to see it on a men. Um, I think it makes a hell of an impression. And um, all right, I guess I need to get some more samples from you. Yeah, this is good. This is good. This is, my hairs are standing up good. Weird and good and well done.